Homestead Handyman here, off on another project. What we're starting to do here is put the uh, area where we're going to put solar panels up here. We're going to be using a new system that I'll explain to you later on for mounting it for a ground mount system. So now we're just preparing the area where we're going to place this, and then we'll get started. All right, I'm getting ready to install the Integra IR30 frames. I have all the parts laid out here on the table, so I can go over them here. I have the directions printed. So let's have a look here. What we have here is all the legs, the bottom leg, and then the two uprights right here. We have the kits that hold the uh, hardware in there nuts, bolts, and the hardware to hold the solar panels in place. It's very handy because they come with on the box something that you can just scan there and uh, get your uh, instructions ready to go. I opted to print them out in addition. That's where I got them from. Now, also, to mount this to the ground, I've opted to go with the anchor spikes, and that's what these are. These will go down about 24 inches in the ground, and uh, you then we'll pour epoxy down the center of them through here. And they have the kit and everything here for your use. All right, well, that's enough looking at this. Let's get started and assemble one of these legs. All right, well, we're ready to assemble it. We got three pieces here on each leg uh, of the IR30 frames that I'm gonna be building here. So what we're gonna have to do is, we have these two pieces of aluminum that go here, and, they, and you make sure you have the direction going the same, like that, so that you have it going the same direction. Just drop in one piece, drop in the front one, and there you go. We got these uh, bolts here. These are um, M8 125 by 90 millimeters, and they take a half inch socket on here. And so I have the tools ready for that. So let me get this all installed and get all of these babies put together, and then we'll start laying them out on the ground. All right, let's get going. All right, well, I got all five frames all put together. See that one pretty quick? Nothing to it. Now I have to go, see those holes right there down the middle? Well, we're going to go run some conduit through there to put this whole frame system together. Let me go show you what I got. All right, well, I'm gonna do a dry run first to see how this lays out here so that I know that everything will be good. So here's the first leg on here. And this is the one inch conduit that you have to get. As you can see over here, I'll show you. There's two holes right there and that's where the conduit goes. Over here, I'll show you this. This is where our stakes are going to go into the ground, right through here. All right, so let me get, uh, get this assembled here, and we'll have a look at it and see how it looks. Okay, as you can see, I started putting the racking together here so we can uh, get a rough fit in here. So let me show you something here. The first thing I had to do was stick that pipe through there and that is sticking out about two inches. Then you drop a screw in there that tightens it down, and I, as you can see, I'll have to put more in. Now, the next thing is to space for the module, for the solar module. Okay, so in the directions, it says that you make the opening one inch less than the width of your solar module. So for instance, my module is 44 and 5 eighths. And so I'm going to make it 43 inches and five, 43 and 5 eighths inches. And you have to be careful that you measure between the tubes on the ground and not these other two inch tubes. 
So we have that all set. So I'm going to run through here and set up all the spacing on all the modules. All right, well, I got those all put together. That was so dang easy, I can't believe it. I put up a lot of solar panels in my lifetime. This is the easiest racking system I've ever installed so far. So now you can see everything's in there. My five uh, legs, stanchions, and now uh, I got the conduit in there. And in the middle where they just overlap here, you just let them run wild. Two inches on either side hanging out. Very easy. Next thing I got to do is get it, check it for level. And then I'm going to put the uh, stakes in that I'm going to be using, the ground stakes that use epoxy. That I'm going to have to do next. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is all good and put a string line up here and we'll see how this goes. Looking good. Super easy though, guys. I got to tell you, this is the easiest I've ever done. All right, enough jabbering. Let's move on. Okay, so I got started with the ground mount system where we take these spikes right here. Let's just have a seat here and have a look here. So we have these spikes here that are approximately two foot long. And what happens is you pour the epoxy down the hole and it comes down the tube and seeps out of these holes here and it's going to make like roots underneath the ground to hold them down. So as you can see over here, I've already done one here just to practice and stuff. Uh, so what you have to do is you mark where the hole is and the, uh, on the front and on the back and then from there you go and uh, remove the frame here and then drill your hole. Now, the, what I had to do was get a masonry bit. That's a 24-inch, uh, three-quarter inch bit. And it's wor it worked great to drill in the ground. Now, let me tell you something I learned, another trick here. If you live in a sandy climate, uh, it's best to wet this down really well first and then drill your hole. Of course, don't use an electric drill. Use a cordless and uh, then drill the holes down for your epoxy tubes. Just a little helpful hint. All right, well, let's get moving. I got to put the rest of them all in. Okay, the, there's one of the holes that I drilled and that's in sand. So that's the key to get it uh, wet first and then it drills a nice hole. All right, let me carry on. All right, well, I'm getting ready to mix the epoxy to put down the uh, anchor spikes. And they sent you uh, everything you need here. It's a two-part epoxy right here. It's a one-to-one, -one, a handy little funnel, mixing cups, a big mixing cup, rubber gloves, mixing stick, and a nice little 13-millimeter wrench that has ratcheting in it. Uh, pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to mix this all together, and then we'll go in there and start pouring that into the anchor spikes. All right, the next step, now that I have the tubes all in, filled with epoxy, epoxy is all dry is we're going to level the racks. First, I gotta put all these nuts and bolts in. They come through here. Carriage bolt with nut on the other side. All right, so I have to go put all those in and then I'll just tighten them down with the wrench and level it up. Let me get started on that. Okay, so the next step that we got to do here is to uh, level off the whole racking system here. And so how we're going to do that is the best thing to do is to use a string line. And so I attach one side here and then the other side on the other end with, uh, with these nails that I beat in there. 
And as you can see right down in here, right down in here, you see that this is low. If you look over here, you can see that the level is perfectly level. So what I'm gonna have to do over here is bring these up. Well, I gotta get a hammer and bring this up and level everything out. Now what I did for the front to back over here, this is gonna be my lowest spot here. And so you can see I have the level getting the leg from front to back. And then we have our string line going from side to side. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this leveled up. And there you go. It's a wrap. The unit is mounted. Let me give you some close-ups of some things here. These worked very well. All, then the easiest thing was to put them on the four holders down there, was to put them on prior to putting the solar panel up, and then they just zipped along here. I'm really, really impressed with this racking system. The Integra IR30 has worked fantastic. Very, very easy to mount. We got our Sun Gold 450 watt panels on there, four of them. And there it is. Looking sharp easy to do certainly I could do it in half the time and it didn't even take that long really initially if I had uh, after having done it one time and now we got some shade under there all right well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that hopefully this Integra rack will be uh, helpful to you for mounting your solar panels. They have a whole variety of uh, different models that you can choose from for ground mount and different kind of mounting systems. And also they're coming out with ones that are where you can adjust the angle, whereas this one, because it's an IL-30, is a 30 degree angle. For my uh, area, it's about 26 is the optimum. So that's going to work good. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and give me the old thumbs up. This is the Homestead Handyman. 
out.